All right, guys, injuries from the game. We had Jennings with an ankle. He returned. Um, Samson with an ankle. He didn't. Um, he probably would have if it wasn't like that then, no. Go ahead. Now, the way the first half ended, um, I, I would imagine you weren't too pleased. Um, what did you say to the team at halftime, and what do you think of the result? Um, I definitely wasn't happy how it ended, um, but we moved on from that very fast. Uh, by the time we got in, He's just trying not to think about it. I mean, the, our team knows what we messed up there. Um, but I said this is what we expected. You know, we expected a tight game. It was a tight game. That's playoff football. And I uh, expect us to come out in the second half, score first, and then respond. Uh, did you get the sense that Brock had some nerves or anything early in the game? And how did he kind of settle in? Um, I, yeah, I mean, uh, I think everyone does a little bit. Um, the rain was going there a little bit at the beginning. But you know, he just he missed that first pass and was a little off on a couple. but. Um, also made a couple off schedules there in the first half too that were pretty that were real good. Um, he ended up playing a hell of a game, and um, most impressive thing was not turning it over. Uh, you were at all surprised with how much trust you have in Brock at this point? Um, not really. Um, felt that way from the beginning. You know, once he got in that game versus Miami, you know, we didn't have um, we didn't have the luxury to sit there and worry about stuff the way the game was going. Um, we just had to call plays to try to win the game and he did such a hell of a job and he's done it every time since so um, we got a lot of confidence in him and he gives us more and more confidence each week. 19 passes and nine runs in the first half and it bounced out in the second half but was it the initial plan or just let it you know, attack through the air at least initially? Uh, yeah it was I mean um, we knew we wanted to run the ball and we thought it would end up um, we were hoping it would end up balanced um, towards the end um, but we thought we had some good looks that we wanted to get, and we got some of them and capitalized on a couple. Um, I thought we were doing a hell of a job in the first half, actually, offensively. But, you know, they're tough sometimes. To, they do a good job of giving up some but not letting you in the end zone. And for us to have all those yards, I think we had eight and a half yards of play, but um, I think we only had 13 points to show for it. So when you do that, you worry, and that's why you got to turn those big plays into touchdowns, and we were able to do that in the second half. You joked, or maybe not joked about, don't take a 17-yard sack. But he does seem to have a knack for <laughs> spinning out of stuff. At some point, you just get used to it and say, just go do it? No. Um, I mean, he was great on some. That last one, it was very close. Um, ended up, it was unbelievable the throw he made in the corner um, to BA. I know he just missed that. But, um, you know, he, he's, he's got a feel for it. It definitely makes me nervous on it, some of it. But um, he did a hell of a job getting away. He knows his body. He's out there and can see how close he is to those guys. And um, he tries to never give up on a play. And he's been very smart with the ball so far. So I appreciate he's doing it. Did you have a sense Debo might do something big after his foot got yanked? Um, I mean, I, I was worried that he was hurt on it. Um, I lost my mind a little bit on that. Um, but yeah, I was real concerned that he was hurt on it. You know, I, I didn't like how that looked. I thought it looked pretty bad and the intent of the play. Um, so I think that pissed a lot of people off. I think it pissed our team off. And I think you can kind of feel our team react to that um, after. Um, I wish we were like that from the first play always. But sometimes when some stuff motivates the guys, I think uh, it was cool to see us rally together. And I know Debo was bothered. And um, it was cool he came back and, and answered. Defense had some struggles in the Defense had some struggles in the first half, played a lot better in the second half. How did you assess their performance? Um, yeah, they got us on a couple things early. Um, you know, the big play, obviously. I mean, um, you know, DK's as good as anyone. Gino throws a hell of a ball. Um, and Mooney didn't shy away from anything. I mean, he went up there and competed with them all game, just like he did last time. Um, DK's going to get some. Um, I thought we got some, too. But the, I think the key in the game was getting those turnovers in the second half. If we don't come out and get those turnovers and we turn it over on offense at all, I think it's a totally different game. And um, once we came out and got those turnovers, I think we settled down and um, got back and playing pretty good football. Is that play with Abram worthy of a personal or worthy of an injection in your mind? Um, that's what I thought I saw. So, And then he was hurt, so that allowed me to go out there. So. I mean, I'll see. We always see when you see the tape. I know we're all, everyone's emotional out there, but um, that's what it looked like to us. Anything to the officials about? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not, not what I said, but um, and who knows? I was borderline blacked out at the time, so. Um, and we'll see. I mean, I'm not, you always got to see it again, but, you know, that one got, that one bothered us a little bit. What was your view on uh, Omana, who strip sack, most of recovery, and just what it meant for you at that point in the game? Oh, it's huge. Was that, that was our first turnover? Yeah. yeah. That was once we got the turnover, that that's when I feel like the momentum completely changed for the whole game and 
Um, he, it, it took him a while. He was in that pocket for a little bit. Um, so I, you, the longer they're in there, the more people get open and off schedule timing. So I was worried the whole time. And then the ball went down on the ground. And all I was asking, just jump on it, please. Uh, we had a couple the last time we played them. Um, and they beat us to it. And then once he did jump on it, I kind of was wishing he scooped and ran with it. Cause, but regardless, I think we ended up scoring. So um, it was a huge play in the game. And I think once our defense did that, I think they got their mojo back and um, played great. And it was awesome to be able to protect some of them there those that last drive. Kyle, you mentioned that play, or what happened to Debo, kind of pissed everyone off and ignited you. I mean, was it an element of you beating the Seahawks two times in the regular season and yeah, it is the playoffs. But I mean, was there kind of like a malaise or? No, I don't want to make too big a deal about that. I mean, people get mad. That doesn't change everything. Um, you know, I thought, I mean, you got to score points to beat people. And, you know, they got us on a couple big plays, especially the go route that gave them some points. And, you know, I think we had eight and a half yards of play in the first half. So, I mean, it wasn't like we weren't doing well. You know, they just did a good job keeping us out of the end zone. And if you keep doing that, um, regardless of what you've done, you look up and you're down by one point. And um, didn't feel like we should be because I thought we had um, done a lot of good things. But when you don't score those touchdowns, that's how it is. And that's why it doesn't always matter the stats and what you're doing. There's one thing, it's who scores more points. And um, I'm glad we kept playing the same way. And we ended up getting turnovers and, um, and not giving any. And if you keep doing that and keep getting explosive like that, that's why the score ended up the way it did. When you guys sweep the division and beat Seattle the way you did twice in the regular season, was there any extra pressure coming into this game, a game that everybody expected you guys to win pretty decisively? Yeah, the pressure is how much we believe in our team and that this, it's not a seven-game series. It's just three and a half hours, and who knows what's going to happen. I mean, everyone in the playoffs is a good team. That's a good team. They won nine games for a reason. Um, they're always tough to play regardless. And... Um, you, you got to go out there and play really good football. And that's what's so tough about the NFL is um, that was our biggest, say, our internal pressure is we think we got a really good team. And we don't want today to be our last day with this team. And But that is the reality of the playoffs. You, all you got guaranteed is three and a half hours. Um, once we clinched um, earlier this year up there, you know, we knew we were guaranteed the playoffs. So that was kind of the first feeling that we've had in a while of like, wow, if we don't handle our business this week, um, this week's over, this season's over. And we love this team um, for a number of reasons, and I'm glad we got another week. Obviously, Brock's been going well, but is it a different thing to see him do it in the playoffs like this? Just for you? Um, not totally yet. I don't know. I feel like, I mean, playoffs. Playoffs means all it means is if you lose, the season's over. Besides that, you're usually going against good teams. Um, but we have seen him do it against good teams, and the pressure's always on. Um, and it was great to see him do it today. I feel like, feel like it affects Purdy now that this game is over. He's already played in one postseason game, and now he can just he can just go play now. Um, I mean, I think he did that today. I think he's done that every game he's gotten in. So it's um, cool to have another thing that he can say he's done. Um, but. I mean, these games are all the same. You know, some can mean more than others just because when you lose this one, it's your season's over. So that, that, that's the pressure that everyone's got to deal with. But well, that's why you just want to get to the game. Uh, once that kickoff goes and you get out on the field, then you realize it's three and a half hours just like it always is. But there is always a buildup for that. Kyle, you're, as good as your defense is, you have this seemingly annoying trend of giving up a big play in the first half of games, especially here in the second half of the season. How do you account for it? What do you think? Maybe. Obviously, you're not happy about it. But. Um, I mean, it happens. And yeah, we work at everything. But what I'm happy with is we held them to less points than we got on offense. Um, I think we don't freak out when we give up a big play. Um, and same stuff we've been doing all year. You know, I know we're the number one defense in the league, and we've earned that um, throughout the year. But um, I mean, no, no, no. Guys play well, and it's, it's a whole team game, and that's why sometimes when they have big plays and our defense gives that up, then we got to answer on special teams or offense, and vice versa. Uh, there's a number of times that we've struggled this year um, offensively or special teams wise, and we haven't had to worry about anything because our defense was at the top of their game. I think they did some real good things today. Didn't start off that great. Um, but when you do end up um, limiting their explosives and keeping them out of the end zone, um, pretty happy with our defense. All right, thanks, guys.